Well, as I mentioned, it was a big night for Republicans in the state. Barring potential recounts of two close race it, races, it appears Republicans have taken over control of the Senate by one seat and have increased their advantage in the House by four seats. Mel Meyer has more on some Bemidji area races that went Republican for the first time in several years last night. After eight years in the House, DFL Representative John Purcell lost to Matt Bliss. He said while they have debated back and forth about policy, they have had some agreements. There is agreement that the issues need to be addressed. The challenge now will be, obviously, will the new uh, Minnesota legislature uh, really take those up or not. He says that during his tenure, he helped to get the ball rolling for education funding, transportation and infrastructure, and affordable housing reform. I'm proud of what we were able to accomplish for the state of Minnesota in, in the last eight years. A lot left to be done. Matt Bliss, a resort owner, says he will work to give tax cuts to small businesses and working families. He says that he hopes to see Mincher abolished and have the previous system mended to fit the Affordable Care Act. We have both houses now uh, in St. Paul, so there's really no excuses anymore. We need to get down there and, and fix the problem. Bliss described Purcell as humble and gracious when they spoke earlier this morning. I told him that uh, I'd be welcome, I'd, I'd welcome his telephone call anytime. Matt Grossel, a retired sheriff deputy and veteran, ran heavily on a pro-life platform. However, he also plans to focus on Minsher. You know, with their finances, uh, the kids have been dropped and they've not been able to get them back on. You know, so that the health care has been a big issue. He also wants to work on the proposed bonding bills that were not passed and the creation of veteran homes. The veterans that, uh, that, that have served our country, they deserve better treatment than what we've been giving them. His opponent, Jerry Loud, did not return repeated requests for comment. In Bemidji, I'm Al Meyer, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.